now Ray J apologizing to Shana, man. He said, I should not have reacted like that to see the God and see the show. I'm going through multiple situations in my life and it's weighing heavy on my heart, but that's not an excuse for my actions. I was wrong about the way I reacted. I'm sorry at see the God. Peace and love, bro. So he apologized. Then he went on to say, earlier today, I saw a headline on see the show that made me very upset because I'm very serious about the truth. This is my life and my kids. I'm representing, but the way I reacted was wrong. I should have not used those negative words and called see the God. That's not the way I want to resolve the issue with somebody I respect. I have a lot on my back and my mind right now, and it's taking a toll on me. I want to apologize to you. Nobody told me this. I haven't picked up my phone because I feel it's becoming toxic. This is from the heart. I'm sorry for the way I reacted. It was very unprofessional. Peace and love at see the God. God damn, that call must have came in. <laughs> He's like, yo, you know, you know Charlamagne can end your career. <laughs> I don't know what the hell going on, but I know they friends though because Charlemagne said all the time, if it wasn't for Ray J, the Breakfast Club probably would have fell off 10 years ago because it was a time and because the Breakfast Club first started in 2010. And after a year went past, they wasn't getting a good enough ratings. It was like they was kind of like slow. Like they wasn't breaking no headlines, nothing for real like that. But then it was one night when Ray J, he got super drunk. He got super high off that powder. He called up into the breakfast club like at six in the morning. He was going off on Fabulous, calling them all type of shit. It's still on YouTube to this day. So after that, that's when the ratings to the breakfast club flew through the roof. And that's when they started to be a household name and huge guests started coming on that show. And that's how they initially blew up. So Charlamagne gives Ray J his props all the time. So I'm pretty sure behind the scenes, they real cool. They probably go to each other's house. Kids probably play together, whatever. So... That's probably what happened. Like after Ray J went off on Charlemagne, Charlemagne probably called him like, "Yo, what the hell you going off on me for? Like, what the hell I do?" Even though Ray J took it like Charlemagne was playing with him, trying to make it seem like everything he doing, like fighting for his kids, he just doing it for promotion for the Kardashians, and he just felt super disrespected at first. But he, I don't know if he he forgot, you know what I'm saying, take his medicine, or he just sniffed the line and made that post. I don't know, bro. I don't know what the hell these celebrities be doing, but. Bottom line is, they had a phone call behind the scenes and everything good, man. What y'all think about this, your boy? Months.